It was a Friday night one year ago when an unwelcome visitor touched down in Greensburg, Kansas. A massive tornado packing winds of more than 200 miles per hour blasted through the small town, nearly wiping it from the map. Eleven residents were killed, and stunned survivors were left to simply dig through piles of rubble, hoping to find any remains of what used to be life. Where did it all go? You know, at least we still had stuff contained. I mean, we lost a lot, but not as much as other people. We have friends that lives right out south of us here, kind of just on the edge of town. Their whole house was gone. President Bush toured the area with FEMA, promising to help the community get back on its feet. And though some residents took off, many stayed, deciding to rebuild and restart their lives in Greensburg. I thought a little bit about going back up where I grew up, which is the north central part of the state. But I've lived here longer than any place else, and, and this was home. The only thing we had left after the tornado was my husband's job, which is here. And my job was gone because I work at the school. And we asked the kids, do you want to finish school here? And they said, yeah. So there wasn't any doubt at that point. Many of the town's Victorian brick buildings are no longer standing, but residents say slowly Greensburg is making a comeback. President Bush marks the one-year anniversary of the storm by delivering the commencement address at Greensburg High School today. Tim McGuire, Associated Press.